What makes alarms feel so alarming? And how could better sounds make hospitals safer? Let's take a view inside the research of Dr. Joe Schlesinger. The alarms are going off all the time. They're loud, we get fatigued from that, but they also give us very little information, especially if they're false. Vanderbilt anesthesiologist Joe Schlesinger is using a unique approach to make sounds smarter. I'm most enthusiastic about really using music perception and cognition to inform alarm design. That's where this amazing three-story sound chamber comes in. So we are in the anechoic chamber. Anechoic means without echoes. The experiment? My conjecture was to look at the volume of alarms relative to background noise and to study, can alarms be softer? Is it safe to have that, those alarms be softer than the background noise? Neuroscience undergrad Katherine Nash is helping run experiments in this chamber. I began this process and was able to immediately come up here and see this room. It's probably the best convincing tool you ever need for an undergrad because it's incredible. The study participants are listening to real medical sounds. Yeah, I really think with the diuresis that we start... Having them complete tasks while modifying the audio. The perception of alarms really is not just about volume. That there's so many aspects to the sound signal. Similar to music. So when you talk about deconstructing or unpacking that sound signal, it's looking at things like sharpness, roughness, those specific things of sound. This immersion helped Nash into medical school. Being able to work with people and to do a study in this way, and I can see pretty direct effects with what I want to do, is incredible. Dr. Schlesinger is also working with a team of biomedical engineering undergrads on alarms and patient stress. So people understand that if you're in an ICU and you hear these really annoying alarm sounds, that that's pretty disturbing and not something you want to hear. We've decided to basically eliminate all alarm sounds from the patient perspective. They're working on a device a patient would wear. And we created different filters, band stop filters, that basically allow all other speech but those specific frequencies that you want to take out. By digitally subtracting sound waves. So everything will sound the same except for the elimination of the alarm to eliminate any kind of PTSD that they experience or waking them up in the middle of the night. For these engineering students, this immersion has helped lead to jobs in the biomedical field. So it's really cool to be able to visit Dr. Schlesinger in the ICU and like see that environment because I'll be working there next year. And so it's just been really good exposure. Schlesinger is part of a new collaboration between Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Engineering, the Blair School of Music, and other parts of the university called Music, Mind, and Society. Music is close to Schlesinger's heart. That's how I literally put myself through school, was playing piano in New Orleans. But medicine is his true calling. I wanted my background in music to be an integral part of my medical practice and research. The research is still going on, and Dr. Schlesinger is dedicated to combining his skills in music and medicine. To really be known for that weird music guy who broke down those barriers and improved patient safety.